Well, you know, uh, the role Africa, or South Africa more specifically, has to play in relation to Africa is a very difficult one. It's a balancing act, because you must remember that South Africa is a sovereign state, and South Africa represents South Africa, represents its interests. Um, but, you know, the expectation and indeed the reality is that South Africa always goes in there carrying messages from our brothers and sisters from the continent trying to give a little bit of the flavor of what Africa would want. Uh, but ultimately, you know, given its uh, role as a sovereign state, it has to keep a South African presence in there. Um, and, and, and some of us uh, are maintaining that it's a real pity that South Africa is the only African country in the G20 because, you know, it's unfairly balanced if you look at the Europeans who have a number of countries plus the EU, you know, if you look at uh, the Americas and, and so on, it would be good to have at least, you know, another two maybe countries from Africa so that South Africa doesn't have this difficult balancing act. It's difficult, you know. Um, you know, the, there is no simple answer to these questions because you're dealing with very complex, complex challenges. I mean, if you've been listening uh, last night to Carlos Lopez and you're listening this morning, the whole morning on the discussion with, with Africa, is that all the solutions that people are trying um, to come up with uh, beg the question. They, they, they avoid the context of the challenges. They avoid dealing with the real issues. And the real issues, one of the real issues is these trade agreements because the reality of it, they are unfairly skewed towards Europe and other partners. And Africa, for historical reasons, um, finds itself in a situation where you're damned if you sign them and you'll be damned if you don't, um, you know, because life has got to go on. But the reality is that for solutions to be achieved, I think what is required is some very honest, honest engagement that goes into the undressing of the past issues and really wrapping them up with the right kind of answers. I wish the solution was as easy as my passion for cycling. Um, you know, the transportation plays a very key role because you must remember transportation goes together with logistics. Um, you know, one of the challenges again that we have is that we've got roads and ports that are, you know, structured to favor not necessarily Africa's intra trade arrangements, but actually in terms of going out to the outside world. Um, so, what of the biggest things that Africa needs to resolve, and, and there's answers, Africa must come up with answers by itself, is, uh, is to ensure that we have very serious investment in infrastructure of a transport nature, so that our logistics improve a lot. So, it's a very important question.